Welcome back, guys. This is Vivek. So this is session number seven, AWS series. So those are people are watching first time, like visiting first time of our channel. So this is the series is going on in the AWS zero point one series, is the latest version, uh, latest interface. I will discuss like management console which are AWS is providing in that case okay the series is going on please uh watch this be last videos and if you want notes uh notes then just i'm just going to you okay inside the facebook page if any request i will approve otherwise it's fine to me okay 180 people are there it's a private group here i am uploading the notes all the notes are available in the file section go and download these notes okay just i'm downloading last class notes then the uh, fast i want to just do some revision suit out round for this so last session we covered about elasticity elastic scalability and high availability so elasticity you i have just i just mentioned that stretch in, in the childhood you can you 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 see this like maybe you have seen like elastic you know, stretch that and automatically this is stretched down so same thing is happen here in the elasticity in the aws so when the server burden is increased then they will uh, uh, increase the servers okay they will number of server they will increase in. Look at here, you can see how much we can achieve, how we can achieve that elasticity in the AWS by using auto scaling. By using auto scaling, we can achieve this. How to achieve, achieve this uh, scale out and scaling. Scale out means increasing the number of servers and scaling means decreasing the number of servers. We mentioned one configuration about this, like increasing and decreasing, how much minimum servers I want, how much maximum servers I want. You can just mention that server inside that your machine aws they, they will increase the site okay the like load balancer it will identify the round round robbing round robbing of methods it will follow like load balancer load balancer will identify that okay when the more traffic is there then the server will increase okay scalability coming to the scalability so very very important point here is we are not increasing the number of servers okay here we just increase the capacity of the servers suppose more traffic is coming and there are people complaining to you the server your your data response is coming slowly okay your server is down so that means that means just increase the size of that server like Previously, you have using using you have used like 16 GB RAM. After that, you can increase the RAM of that server like 32 GB. Up to that 32 GB, you can increase. Then the people resolve that issue. Here is the this is the long term functionality, and in the elasticity, the uh, uh, like short term functionality right high availability this is the very very important high availability so both so period of time the server is available right the, so the period of time the server is available that means it's high availability the period of time is the server is not available this means it's downtime is there okay how to achieve high availability by using rmf rmf means redundancy monitoring and rmf redundancy monitoring and failover well, what is the redundancy? Redundancy means the uh, duplicate servers are there, like multiple one application you can deploy with the multiple servers. And what is the meaning of redundancy? Uh, sorry, redundancy is completed. Uh, what is that? Uh, monitoring by using load balancer, you can monitor your applications, right? Like the server is down, the server is up. When the server is down, then request go to the another server like that. Okay, now next one, the failover. When the server is fail, automatically the another server will take that uh, initiate to start. Okay, this is that meaning here. I have explained here. The period of time server is available, then server is called the high availability. The period of time server is not available, that means called zero. We have following three things. 
what is the redundancy, monitoring, and failover. Here you can say keeping your application with the multiple servers. Okay, call the uh, monitoring. If your load balancer is checking application is reachable or not. Okay, failover. If the server is down, then the, we send the request to the another server. This is meaning about that. So this type of nodes, if you want, just check these things. Okay. So now let's come into the today's session, guys. So today's session is very, very important. Why? Because I'm going to teach one thing like uh, AWS terminology, which terminology they are using. Like they have in here, if you can see, just I need to log in this. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. AWS, I'm just showing something to you. But sometimes I need to log in my AWS account. Wait. Okay. Sign in. Login. Great. Okay. So, just this is my account. We pay 996. Password I have to put it. Login. Okay. This is my AWS account. The latest console they are providing. Okay. Now here you can see we have this is console. Okay. So don't worry about all this thing. All the service I will teach you. EC2, support, idea, sales, all these things, lambda, all these things, as well as IoT, how to integrate with the, how to use IoT. Okay. So now today's session is about an agenda is this this thing. What is that? What is that? Regions. Okay. Regions. These are the regions are available. Okay. These are the reasons are available. Regions and availability zones are there. So in the Mumbai, I am in the where I am right now in the India. So I need to choose a, our a near uh, data centers, like near regions. So that's why I choose them. Like AAP, uh, Asia specific South, A. like that you can say A1, B1, 2, like that. So default region is US is North Virginia. When you log in with the AWS account and create account login with that, then you will select you automatically they will select as the North Virginia because the first time they deploy that they establish the server in the inside the North Virginia. That's why. Okay, so now I selected Mumbai regions. So this is our uh, today's topic, guys. What is that regions? Okay, regions and availability zones, all these things I will take a session today so now just i'm taking mm -hmm. size is too big so just i need to sustain is good okay so now regions and availability zone. what is the regions and availability zone? region mm -hmm. regions and availability zone. I need to decrease the size of that. Hmm. Availability here. Each So, okay. Perfect. So now regions and availability zone. So anyone asked to you what is the regions? So you can simply say region is geographical area. What is the geographical area? Suppose AWS region. I have shown you to I have shown you like AWS region having Mumbai, North Virginia, like that we have. Okay. So region is So region is to so what is my point? Regions are regions uh, are geographical area. Simple thing. 
regions or geographical area. Example, you can take an example like uh, what is it? AWS Mumbai 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 region Mumbai region, right? So AWS having geographical area, geographical area, and Mumbai regions. Mumbai regions. Okay. So now, what is that availability zones? So I have. Take, what is that availability zone? I am taking like shortcut availability zones. What is that availability zone? You can simply say availability zone is that data centers. Okay. What is that availability zone? Availability zone is data centers. Availability zone. Simply availability zone, <laughs> availability zone zones are nothing but nothing but it's it it is it is data centers. Okay, in the Mumbai regions, we have three. Uh, zones, three zones. In the Mumbai regions, we have three. And just I'm taking examples to revise. In the Mumbai regions, in the Mumbai regions, suppose uh, yeah, you can take this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Suppose this is the Mumbai regions we have. Okay. Mumbai region. Mumbai region we have. This is the Mumbai region. Mumbai regions. Okay. Mumbai regions. In this region, we have multiple zones. So this is one zone we have. Okay. We have three zones in the Mumbai regions. We have three zones. Okay. In the Mumbai regions, we have three zones. First one, the, the zone is Asia specific AP South hyphen one. Like that. We have okay. Two Three. Like that. Okay, so now in that, uh, now you can understand in the Mumbai region, in the Mumbai region, we have a multiple, uh, what is that, what is that multiple availability zones. The availability zones are connected to each other. They are communicating with each other. They are communicating with each other. Okay. They are communicating with each other. Okay, availability zone are communicating with each other. Availability zone are communicating. Wait, some give me some time, guys. Oh, sorry for that delay, guys. So, so here you can understand uh, what is that Mumbai regions is uh, so just I am revising uh, region is nothing but a geographical area and regions having multiple zones okay multiple zones like in the Mumbai region we have three zones Asia specific one Asia specific south two Asia specific south this is the naming conventions okay this is the naming conventions okay this is the naming convention which are uh, following by that uh, AWS guys. So now next point I am just typing to you for you. What is that? So regions is place. 
or the region or regions is placed regions is a place where aws aws regions is placed where aws its own its own infrastructures what is that its own infrastructure okay and also regions are regions are having <clears throat> multiple multiple data centers dc means data centers so now this is the basic point and okay data center this availability zone is nothing but a it's self for data centers okay so here net availability zone just take it now here this is the availability zone are nothing but a data center availability here i am also typing availability zone is uh data centers data centers availability zone is also having data centers not availability zone itself for data centers like aci specific have a data centers one this is the data centers one data centers two right so this is all about a region and availability zones okay availability zone. suppose we have a, uh -huh. So I can select this duplicate can we This time I need to copy this. Can we? Yeah. Great. So this is another uh, here in the suppose uh, we can take like. Is there any? Suppose. Okay, we can take one more availability zone here. One more availability zone is there. Uh, this is nothing. What? What is that? Uh, suppose this is the North Virginia data centers are there. North Virginia another another region regions right this is another regions guys this is another regions having but regions are not connected to each other regions are not connected to each other regions are not communicating with each other regions are not communicating each other by default if it is required, if communication is required within, within within two regions, then you can communicate with that. Okay. But by default, it is not happening. But inside that availability zone, inside the availability zones, they are communicating each other by default. Right. So about this, I have removed some points. Okay. So, this is basic to understand what is that availability zones. Okay, inside the data, AWS, inside the AWS, we have regions. Okay, inside the regions, we have VPC. VPC is nothing but a uh, virtual private cloud. Because some, do you know that, uh, I know. okay, later point of time, I will ask it. Okay. So, now coming to the next pictures about this. What is that picture? So here I'm writing some point. Regions are regions are regions and availability zones are map completely completely managed by managed by who is managing AWS. Okay, 
managed by AWS. Availability zone. So availability zone. Availability zone can communicate. Communicate. Communicate with each other. Each other by default. Default. Okay. Now next is availability zones. Availability zones network network are interconnected. Interconnected with the each other. Interconnected with the each other. Now next is <laughs> what is it? Next is region by default not regions. Regions are regions are not by default old connect communicating communicate each other. Got it. So this four point you can understand easily. So now here if it is required, suppose this is one availability zone. This is the another availability zone is there. If it is required, then you can uh, communicate with each other. Okay. Re regions. You can mention. But uh, availability zones are by default, it's uh, communicating with each other. So what is that upper, uh, what is that our requirement guys? Suppose one application we have. Yes, you can understand. Uh, suppose we have an application. We have an application. Okay. We have an application in that Mumbai specific region. Suppose this is the Mumbai region. Okay. This is the one data centers are there. Big data center I need. Three centers are there. So this is our application app. Okay. Suppose this is our app. App. So this is required to deploy your app in the, you can create a multiple server here also inside this availability zone. Okay, just I'm writing availability zone. Availability zones. Okay. One. Uh, okay. Availability zones, availability zones, availability zones like that. Two, three. Uh, you can create a EC2 instance here. You can create a EC2 instance here. What is that? EC2 instance here. EC2. EC2. Okay. Multiple EC2 you can create. Okay. EC2 create. You, you can create multiple EC2. And suppose you can create multiple EC2. Here also, here also, you are creating here also, you are creating multiple issue too. And you are deploying your application. And you are deploying your application this inside this EC2, inside this EC2, you're deploying your application, right? At this EC2 deploy that and inside this and suppose so now this is my example guys understand so suppose this availability is goes down maybe chance is not there but you can you cannot take a risk okay suppose this in the Mumbai some uh, Dadri and some other places the data centers are available suppose this data center is goes totally down then what happened what happened with your application application is there no, the application is itself is goes down. So better to take your application with a, a multiple availability zones. That's why cost is high, but you can take this application itself here. Okay. You can take this application.
That's what I'm trying to know. So, okay, you can take this also. Like that. You can deploy your application. You can deploy your application with multiple Okay. Close this, run this. I need a, this copy, app copy, I need. Okay. Again, uh, what happened? Okay, just don't worry. Just uh, I'm writing the tab. Tab, then take a copy. Okay, deploy this application with a different, different availability zone. Okay, different, different availability zone. I need to do this. Just, okay. Okay. When you see that this type of architecture in your application, then you can understand uh, this is that high availability and auto scaling and the fully uh, full. If that application is half of application is down, then your architecture will work. Your application should work. Your half of server is down, but your application should work. So now, like this, we can design. Our application, we cannot deploy our application in the single availability zone. We can deploy our application in multiple zones. So why? Because the zones are connected to each other by default. So you not required to connect, right? It's by default is communicating to each other. Okay. This if this is down, then automatically take care of this. This is your application is running now. So the, the request is going transfer to this availability zones. So now up to this is clear to you guys. So here just I'm right. I'm also doing some right point for you. So you can understand. Okay. So just I'm writing some point guys for you. Here, here, what is happening here, guys? Tell me. Here, if data is sharing, na, so data a, they are sharing with data like. Okay. So availability zone, you know, no, availability zone is the group of data centers instance. Instance. across availability zones instance across availability zones availability zones instance across availability zone can share the data as availability zones availability zones are interconnected 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 with each other that's why they are sharing the data what is my point guys so i think you understood this point my it's simple point to you guys so the data centers in the aws we have a regions regions is nothing but a geographical area and the regions having multiple availability zones availability zones is the group of data centers okay in the in that uh, what is that in the mumbai in the, in the mumbai we have uh, three availability zones that the availability zones is nothing but a group of data centers in that we have multiple data centers okay in that uh, particular thing like one a one b like that okay we have a multiple data centers
So now, what is that total architecture at the end of guys? So suppose this is our this is our AWS. AWS. Suppose this is our AWS and this is our data centers. This is our nothing but what is that? Tell me guys. This is our region. Inside the regions we have inside the regions we have BPC. What is that? BPC we have. BPC. It's a private no? by default we have in the in one region, in the one one availability zone, one availability zone in the one region, we can create a five BPC, five BPC the by default five BPC in the, the uh, in the default BPC we have okay BPC we have a default BPC, but suppose we have like you can understand suppose I am also in the Mumbai region. So just I'm adding, okay, I'm adding one page. Suppose my name is Vivek, okay, Vivek, okay. Some other person also like Raju, okay, okay. Sita, okay, this is my mother, and Ram, Ram is my father, <laughs> really. Okay, so now these four persons are there. Okay, these four persons are there. They are creating, uh, what is that? They are creating one EC2 machine. Where? EC2 machine where? They are creating EC2 machine in Mumbai regions. Okay. Mumbai. Mumbai region. Mumbai region. Mumbai region. Okay. They are creating a Mumbai region. So, how they can identify, how we can identify this is my machine, this is not my, this is Raju machine, this is Sita machine, this is Ram machine. So, they are uh, creating a default VPC, like private virtual VPC, okay, private virtual cloud, right. So, by using the VPC, we can identify this is that Vivek cloud, this is the Raju cloud, this is the Sita cloud, this is the Ram cloud. They why is it VPC? Simply VPC is doing uh, like separating that uh, separating that machines, separating that servers. Okay. Now we have a four server, every server having VPCs. So by using VPC, Sita can access Sita server, Vivek can access Vivek server, Raju can access Raju server. By using VPC, VPC is connected to each other. Okay. So now this is the VPC concept. Don't worry, I will teach you more about the VPCs, how to create the real-time examples in the one region. In the one region, you can create a five, uh, a five uh, maximum sizes, five VPC you can create. So now. So here, this is the AWS, AWS, inside the AWS, we have, um, what is that region, inside the regions, inside the regions, we have um, nothing but a VPC, virtual private cloud, VPC we have, inside the VPC, we can create a multiple, we, we can create a multiple, what is that? Got it. What is this? What is this guy? We can create inside the BPC. Inside the BPC, we have availability zone, right? One thing is yeah. Then inside the availability zone, we can create a service, right? This is nothing but availability zone. Yes, availability zones. Availability zone. 
right this is availability zone and this is ec2 <clears throat> Okay, this is EC2, this is EC2, this is EC2, this is EC2. So now this is the architecture. Maybe interviewer asked where the how the interviewer asked the question. So where the regions are available. So you can say in the AWS regions are available, where availability zones are available, inside the BPC availability zones are available, where the EC2 instance are available. Is G2 servers. You can say simply inside the availability zones, EC2 is available. You, can, you cannot so you cannot say the regions inside the regions are EC2 are available. No, inside the BPP, BPC inside that availability zones are available. You can see the practical when I will when I am going to start the practical about that. So first they are they will asking about the BPC. If the default BPC you can choose, or otherwise you can create own BPC. Okay, they are providing a default BPC also. Okay, so by using default BPC also you can use it. Otherwise, you don't want to default BPC, you can create your own BPC. So your own BPC you can create in that regions. Okay, regions in that the availability. So now I think it's clear to you. If you are having any doubt, it's a, today's sensation is only the regions and availability zones totally depends on. So here you can understand what is the regions. Regions is geographical area. Okay, regions are having multiple uh, availability zones and availability zones is nothing but having the data centers. Okay, and availability zones are connected to each other by default. Okay, we having multiple regions. Regions are not communicating with each other by default. If you require, you can communicate. Okay, so where the availability zones are available? Inside the BPC, availability zones are available. Where the BPC are available? BPC are available inside that uh, where? regions. Regions with inside the AWS. So this is the total topics we cannot. So thank you. We will meet next session. Thanks. And please share this videos also.